What's going on YouTube? Thanks for watching Poor Boys RC, where today we're going to do a little soldering tutorial video. We're just going to take a look at some common connectors. We're going to look at some motors, things like that, some of the tools that we need and all that good stuff. So thanks for tuning in. Let's get going. Excellent. So let's talk about tools of the trade. First thing is first, you're going to need a really good soldering iron. Now there's a lot of them available. I Personally, I really like these soldering stations. I think they're definitely the way to go. You've got an on off button here with a digital display. Here I can adjust my temperatures. I've got my soldering iron here. We can clean our iron here. And we've got a variety of tips being held along the side. So, so these can be picked up on Amazon. They're not very expensive. And for a home setup, I highly recommend going with something like this. If you're on the road, you might want to have a portable soldering iron if you're at the track, something like that. But for home, this is, in my opinion, the way to go. Jumping over here, we're going to look at the solder that we're going to use. So in this case here, I can get this guy off for you. So this is the solder that I've been using. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon. They're quite inexpensive. And uh, I like to have a little bit of flux in my solder. I think it makes for a, a much easier, cleaner joint. We've got the iron on. We got her warming up. What else do we need to look at? And another tool here, guys, that really helps make your soldering life a lot easier is an extra set of hands. <laughs> so these guys are really great for holding on to wires, plugs, whatever you need. You can pick these up at your local hobby store. I, I see them in stock virtually at every hobby store I go to. You can also grab it on Amazon or eBay. Um, so something like this is a really, really nice add-on to have. And the last thing I'm gonna say we're gonna use today is some solder paste flux. This stuff is basically, from what I know, I think it's almost like a, like an acid-based product. I've got a Q-tip in here. It's been in here for about 10 years. And I use this, uh, it's just a paste that you're gonna apply to the joints that you're soldering. And it's really gonna help your solder stick. Oh, and last but not least, I like to have a nice damp microfiber towel. And uh, I like to have this just in case I need it for, you know, grabbing anything that might be really hot or wiping up any, any flux mess that's left behind. So the first job we're gonna work on today, guys, is gonna be soldering some motor leads on a motor. Something that every RC enthusiast will have to do at some point in their RC life. So as you can see here, guys, we've never had anything soldered, any of these motor leads soldered to this motor yet. So we're starting on a fresh page and I'm gonna walk you through my process. And again, some of you guys may do this a little bit differently. This is my way and I think this will definitely help out if you're new to this. So first things first, I'm gonna get my flux. Again, you can get this at your local hobby store. I'm gonna apply the flux onto the two tabs on the motor. I'm putting way more on than I need for illustrative purposes. So hopefully, uh, it uh, really projects well on, on camera. So with the flux on the motor, first thing we wanna do is a process called tinning. And what tinning is, is we're going to get a little bit of solder on these tabs, kind of get it in there, get it, uh, get it situated, get it ready for the motor leads to be soldered on afterward. So it's been a couple minutes, our soldering iron's nice and hot now, and let's see how this works. Now you can see it really flowing out nicely and really penetrating that tab. And again, I'm going a little bit crazy here with this just to kind of illustrate on video. Look at that, look how nice that is. So heat is the key, but the thing is you don't want too much heat. We'll, got, we'll dive into that in a little bit. For the purpose of this, with this big thick tab, we want to have, we needed to have a little more heat. Now that it's cooled down, you can see I can get my iron right back on there and it's hot enough that it can melt it really quickly and we can work with it. Get a little more solder on there. Now watch this time. Now that we've got the heat right, look at this. Look how it just flows out so nicely. And that was way too much flux. <laughs> so it's kind of acting a little bit funny. Burn all that off, but look at that. Just like that. So we've now beautifully tinned and prepped those tabs for the motor leads. Now with this motor lead, you can see it's already got some solder on it. It's already been tinned. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna redo this whole process so you can see exactly how I did it. So I'm gonna start by cutting off that nice tinned end. Just take a hobby knife, cut off a little bit of that end and expose the fresh wires. So I'm gonna take these fresh wire. I've got my flux and I'm gonna get flux all up in that bad boy. 
just like that. Get some fresh solder on the gun. I'm just gonna apply it right there. And with that flux on there, you're gonna see just how nicely that solder gets on there and flows in. So now we're gonna solder the lead onto the motor itself. And by doing a good job of tinning, this is now going to be the easy part. Now I got a little bit more solder on my iron, not much. I'm gonna hold this guy right here and just apply a little bit of pressure. I had to grab a set of pliers as you can see because this wire gets pretty hot. You can spread it around, really kind of get it nice and hot and get that wire, get that solder really melted into that wire, into that tab and create a nice clean looking joint just like that. In my opinion, that looks pretty good. Get my towel on there and cool it off a little bit and there's your joint. That is never going to come off. And we'll try it again with the second wire. And by having a little bit of extra solder on the end of your iron just like that, that solder is gonna get really, really hot and make it a bit easier for this to all kind of flow in together. So let's try a bit of a different technique this time. Now we've got all that solder on there. So I'm just gonna hold this on and let the heat work its way through into the tab. And I can see it starting to flow. And just like that, we've got good penetration on this side, but really it's pretty ugly. I don't like how that looks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tidy that up a little bit. Get that tab nice and hot. And there we go. So, looks a lot nicer now in my opinion. And those are two extremely strong joints that are not gonna be coming off anytime soon. Let's do another uh, very common solder job <laughs> in the world of RC and that's soldering battery connectors uh, or an ESC connector, in this case, a Deans. I know not everybody uses Deans, they are my plug of choice. And I'm gonna give you guys a, a good tip when soldering a Deans connector. So you're gonna be using so much heat that if you get too much heat in this connector, you can imagine, it's a pretty thin little piece of plastic, so you can actually melt that plastic and that metal tab that's inside can fall out or kind of get on a weird angle uh, and it won't want to plug into your battery properly. So a good tip to help disperse that heat is to take your male Deans, plug it into a female Deans, just like that. Now what that'll do is help disperse the heat into the female Deans and not screw up your male Deans when it gets piping hot from soldering. Actually, I'll go this way, because positive is on the bottom. Make sure you keep your positive and negative straight. And I'm gonna situate it just like that. <laughs> wow, that is a nasty looking connector. <laughs> cool down a little bit. This is a very, very strong joint. Pull on that as hard as I can, and that's not coming off. Now the next step to this would be to take a little piece of heat shrink tubing, slide it over the top just like that, get your lighter, and there you have it. So I just grabbed a, another random wire that I had. So it just happens to be a female bullet. So don't, this is strictly for illustrative purposes. This is not gonna be some kind of fancy plug I'm building that won't work for anything. So again, we're gonna get this guy set up. I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of a different way to solder this guy up. So I hope you guys can see that okay. So what we've done this time to make this joint a little bit different, you can see the wire basically butts up to the back of that little metal tab. Instead of being on top of it, it's butted up to the back of it. That's the difference between these two joints. I'm gonna get a little more solder on here and I'm gonna bridge that gap. Get it nice and warm. Just like that. 
Now with all that done, I'm going to unsolder this and throw these connectors in the garbage. <laughs> One nice thing about these soldering stations too, guys, is that when you start getting kind of build up on your iron, you can clean it off right here, get it nice and tidy. And when you're done soldering, you want to get a little bit of solder back on the tip of your iron. And that's going to protect it from oxidizing. So I get it loaded up again, turn it off and put it away. So everything that we touched on today, soldering the motor cables on and soldering that Dean's plug, uh, you know, if you're going to be using like an XT60 or an EC3 or EC5 connector, all the same rules apply. Put your flux on first, do your tinning, good amount of heat, and be patient. <laughs> it's also nice to have a set of these. If you guys have any questions or want to see me solder anything else, leave them in the comments below. Happy to help out. Oh yeah, and if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps a small channel. And if we get to 10,000 subs by the end of this year, it's going to be a big giveaway at the end of the year. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Be excellent to each other.